I'd say it was very smooth and very professional. You know, um, from the moment they did the pitch, right? So we had to evaluate the uh, uh, various teams. Uh, everybody made very good pitches. Uh, they presented their ideas well. Um, and once we settled on the team, uh, I also found that they were very responsive to to our needs, to client needs, um, and maybe just as important, they also delivered on time. I mean, obviously, one of the constraints was uh, the the fact that we were doing this during COVID nineteen, so a lot of it had to be done virtually. But even then, it worked very smoothly. I, I thought the weekly meetings were very effective, and in fact, they were very. Um, concise. We were we we would get through the material in half an hour. So kudos to the team. The impact that uh, the the work we've done with the AIM team really has uh, uh, it's the, the potential to have large and immediate impact. Because again, if you think about the situation now, you have many countries where uh, the data, where there's much less data to work on, um, or the data comes with a real lag. So what the team did was say, well, you don't have to rely just on economic indicators. News may be a, may be a good source of information. And so what it will enable ADB and our member countries to do is, again, make better policy decisions uh, using more information. I think my expectations were low because they were students and you know they weren't necessarily economists. What I liked was how quickly they sort of got on board. So there was a, a learning curve for them at the beginning and they picked it up. Important things obviously is that you know it's a data science team talking to an economics team. Uh, completely different languages and yet uh, what I liked was that they were able to communicate some very technical issues in a in a way that uh, non-technical or non-data science people could understand. There are many people who have quantitative skills but who are lacking in the ability to communicate uh, I, these ideas in in a manner to non-technical people and it's really that that balance that uh, I think currently AIM is uh, able to capture well. You're training people who are able to transfer their skills uh, across these different industries. Advantage of the data scientists you're producing is flexibility. 